the bumpers still aren't back from paint yet, then that's not Ray's fault, but we have a lot to do yet. I'm just so anxious to see this thing finally hit the ground. You know, once you put the wheels on and it sets down on the ground, that's like the final piece. I would say that every second counts at this point. that bumpers won't be back until Friday. We have 80% of the big stuff mostly done and now it's all that last 20% of that little, little bits that have to go back into this thing. You know what, I don't have a choice. It's gonna get done in the time allotted, whether or not that is enough time or not. I might be here till two o'clock in the morning a couple of nights, but uh, it'll, it'll be done in time. As long as I got the parts, I, I've got the time. I just won't sleep, it's fine. Alright guys, so we are here at MJ Collision Center up in De Pere. We just picked up the bumpers um, and then all the miscellaneous pieces that go with that as well as the grill. We got all wrapped up uh, and some moving blankets in the bed of my truck. It all fits in the bed of the truck, which is pretty cool actually. Uh, but we got everything in there. We got it strapped down so it doesn't move around. It's all wrapped up good so we don't bang the paint up. And uh, we're going to head back to work. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning, give or take now. So head back into the office, do everything we need to do, get Banker the parts he needs to really get the build rolling. So let's get after it. So you know how the Kellerman kit says you need the drive shaft lengthened? Yeah. So I sent Anthony to the drive shaft shop with our drive shaft plus 2.75 inches. Do you see that? Yup. Do you see where I wrote that? Does the camera see where I wrote plus 2.75 inches? Yup. So when Anthony went and picked the drive shafts up, he set the new ones here and he put the old ones elsewhere. Well I went to put the new one in and I was like, wow, this seems odd. They shortened it. This is the stock one and this is the new one. So they built us a shorter drive shaft. When we needed one that was three inches longer, they made us one three inches shorter. Needs. So what does that mean? That means that they need to build us a new drive shaft. The good news is that only took them a couple of days. Yeah. The bad news is we need this truck done like today. Bluetooth. We got Bluetooth drive shafts. That's it. That's the move. We'll just hook up the Bluetooth. It'll yeah. be fine. Okay, so we'll have to get old Anthony. We'll have to get them going on that, I guess. Yep. Get some new drive shafts made, and hopefully they can turn them in two days. I mean, we should be able to put the rest of the stuff on it, right? Yeah. In the interim? Yeah, we can put stuff on. Okay. That's what I'll have to do. Ah. All right. It's going to be great. I love it.
got parts. We got parts? More new parts or parts that we already knew we had Painted that are back parts. from being painted? Yes, okay. part two. Does this one have inserts on it too? No? Yeah. Oh, but they're all white? But that one's got inserts on it, but they're black. The inserts are the same color. Mmm, interesting. We got some lights. It's pretty neat. Reverse lights so you can blind people when you're driving on the highway. Why would you be throwing your truck in reverse on the highway? No, you can just put on a switch that we can flip on whenever you want. Oh. I had a light bar in the back of my old F-150 that yeah. I did that with. Well, Jared's transmission go out, goes out all the time. You'd be mm. tossing her in reverse at 80. Oh no, you can't do 80. Is that a black label, black label rock light? That's a nice looking rock light. <laughs> That's a nice looking 18 rock 18 individual LED diodes, complete white. The girl's over here, let's go look at the girl. Oh. Looks fire. This looks fire, banker. Yeah, what's wrong with it? There's a little piece that goes behind the K over here that is red that Dustin hasn't wrapped yet, and I keep asking him to wrap it. Oh. So then this will be red right here. Grab with that. Oh, just over there? Yeah, just behind the Calderman logo. Uh, we're gonna wire up the bumper. Bed rug's supposed to be here today, so hopefully we can wire up the air too. Stuff and happening with the things is done. All right, guys, so when we were down in Chicago for the build, we actually ran out of vinyl for the hood. So we weren't able to finish the hood on the Super Duty. Now, luckily we finally do have vinyl for it and the vinyl did get shipped up here and now we are taking off the hood and then we're gonna be able to slap that vinyl on the truck and then finally our wrap design and everything is gonna flow right into the hood and we'll be ready to go. So let's go hop in the garage, see what's happening. Wheels are on. Craggy, it's a wild no. dust and pretending to Wheels walk. are on. You call that a knife? Let's go see the it's up close and personal. It's under its own weight. <laughs> Is it like rolling? Yeah. Like it's on the ground? Well, it's on the ground. Why are you still sitting? Come on. Let's go. That's a big girl. Just saying. <laughs> thought it would be bigger. What do you mean you thought it would be bigger? Those are 42s. Sure don't li bigger. don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. This sure thing's freaking cool. I like right. how the black wheels in the back match the black frame. Nice touch. I I, dude, I can't like without opening that door all the way and being able to reach the handle. There is absolutely no way I'm getting into this thing. Oh god. I think I tore my hamstring. Bro. What? Hello? Yeah, that's pretty big. What in the world? height sensors which I don't even want to think about right now there's an entire air management system like I'm not gonna go around like dusting at every truck stop and psh, psh, hey psh, psh, hey psh, listen okay all right I just $500 for onboard air management for my rear airbags and the Duramax is a little bit much can I just have the wireless kit right there it's a yeah. wireless one there you go let me have it There's your kit. Here's your kit. I didn't know that was on purpose. I want to. I want to thank uh, my parents and all my sponsors, uh, Airlift, for hooking me up with this. This thing's insane. 